Let's move on to a little. I'll talk about um, the Team USA women's national team losing to Sweden. Sweden. Uh, Team USA. Soccer. Team USA in general. When they don't succeed, there is a lesson to be had. And the lesson is, I'm not going to go as far as saying that the world has caught up to t- Team USA when we talk about soccer, when we talk about basketball. I'm not going to go as far as to say the world has caught up. But what I will say is, gone are the days where you can just walk onto a field or walk onto a court and it doesn't matter who you play, it doesn't matter how you play, you're going to win. Gone are those days. Yes, you have Alex Morgan, uh, Rapina, uh, Megan Rapino. Her this was pretty much her last, her last, uh, I guess, World Cup. She said, uh, Trinity Rodman, who is a young phenom, uh, Dennis Rodman's daughter, Julie Ertz. Like you, you have good players, but gone are the days where. You can not play your best and lose. I mean, and, and still win. You saw that when we talk about team, because we'll talk about Team USA basketball in a second. But you you, you saw that when the last FIBA with Team USA, we we brought you know players like Kimball Walker and and Marcus Smart and J- Jason Tatum. Well, yes, those are good names. Uh, there wasn't much wiggle room for for playing bad because if you played bad you're going to there's again i'm not going to say the world is caught up but the world is better and from game one team usa the soccer team usa has not looked good i think they won the first one 3-0 and i don't know if they scored in regulation since or after that maybe one goal now, I think if they played their best, they are leaps and bounds the best team in at, at this or for the for the World Cup, they're the best team. Again, I think Alex Morgan is probably the best player woman player soccer player in the world probably right now. But again, that doesn't it's there's there there's always been such a talent gap between team USA and the next best person that is not the case anymore and we saw that against Sweden again you played Sweden 10 times out of 10 10 times team USA is probably beating them eight or nine times and if you look at that game I understand that people are going to look at the penalty kick and the penalty kick that was just a millimeter off that pretty much or not pretty much that sealed the deal and ended team usa but no one's going to talk about how team usa had chance after chance after chance after chance in regulation do you know how many how many great opportunities they had to score that this that they they just didn't do i mean and quite as kept, Mega Rapino, she played horrible this entire run. I understand it's her last one she she announced, but she was horrible to the point where I don't think she played one or two of them games because she just wasn't good. And you talk about the youth. Yes, it's, it's, it's a very young team. Emily Fox, Lisa Thompson, uh, Sophia Smith. It's a young team. Crystal Dunn. But again, you still expect it to win because young or not, Team USA has the most talent. But gone are the days, and I keep saying gone are the days where you can just roll your roll the ball out and your talent is going to supersede everything else. No. Sweden, again, Team USA is better than Sweden, but Sweden just played better. 
and Sweden, whether it was a millimeter or not, they should never have been in the opportunity to have penalty kicks. Because Team USA's defense was good. It was just their offense that was not good. So, Team USA failed to, re- to three-peat. It is what it is. I'm not saying that Team USA is now garbage and never going to win again. I'm not saying that, you know, this team is trash, blow it up, that we should – they should never play soccer. No. But what I will say is I hope that this is a good example, and this this is proof that, while, yes, Team USA can can be the best team, the gap, the talent gap has shrunk. I'm not saying teams are looking neck and neck at Team USA, but what I'm saying is – the talent gap has shrunk so much that if Team USA doesn't play their best, they can lose. And that hasn't really been the case for a while. But they could lose. And as we saw, they didn't play their best against Sweden. Opened the door for Sweden to do it or to, to have a chance. And they walked right through it. Whether Even if it was a millimeter, which it was. But they should have, Team USA should have never been in that position. So I think that is a good experience. And I think that a lot of the younger players, once they go on the, on, you know, go back to the World Cup and once they go, you know, Team USA starts up again for them in a couple of years, they'll be better. But again, it, Team USA, as good as they are, as great as they are, they're, there's no nah, the, the 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 talent gap ain't there oh man you stayed to the end of the video i appreciate you if you like what you saw be sure to hit that subscribe button so you'll never miss any content from your boy you can also go back and watch past episodes past clips and don't forget that the unpopular podcast new episodes drop every wednesday and saturday appreciate you